Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at Rave Generator 3 from Audio Blast. Let's take a look at it. So what is Rave Generator 3 then? Well, essentially it is a sample player or a rompler designed specifically for mid-90s rave sounds. And the initial hint of that is the very Thunderdome Gabba font here. Instantly I'm transported back to the mid-90s Gabba days. And in those days it was very common to use a sampler such as the Emu or the Akai and then sample synths and then load them up in the, in the sampler and then trigger them from there. So the workflow of Rave Generator 3 is very similar to those days also. And that's before we even get into the sounds. So let's have a look at the Audio Bus website and see what you get. So this is a bit of a description which I just mentioned. If you go to additional information you can see that there are, you can stack up to 16 instruments. So essentially 16 layers on a particular channel. I'll explain more of that later. 256 presets, a thousand stabs or more than a thousand stabs, 500 bases, 150 kicks, 100 leads, and then some randomization functions, as well as, as I said earlier about the Akai, you have an Akai eyes feature, which is essentially is to reduce the bit rate down to mimic the old Akai samplers. And then other effects such as delay, reverb, filters, and a phaser. So flicking back to the interface, the workflow is that you have samples which are listed in the left here, and you can drag them in like so. So now we have base two, like so, and then you can stack another one on top to make a sound. And then we can change the relative levels of those. So let's turn stab four down. And then we have the effects over here to the right, the global parameters. So here we have functions such as tune, volume, then we have delay on number two, reverb on three, filter on four, which as I said earlier, has different types. So you have low pass, high pass, band pass, or band reject. And then on five, you have a phaser. The samples I mentioned on the right are the ones I mentioned in the description. So here, for example, is where you find those 150 kicks. So let's drag one in. Obviously it's not gonna work with these, so let's Take these out. So essentially to create a patch, you mix and match these samples and then tune the relative levels to get one that you like. So let's now have a listen to some of the samples. I think the best way to do this is to try and create something. And given that I'm inspired by this Thunderdome font, let's try and create something Gabba-like. Right, so here I have a new project with Rev Generator 3 loaded. I also have in these black channels here. And just to be perfectly clear on this, these channels are not from Rave Generator 3. And that's only because these kind of sounds aren't included. And that is a bit of percussion. So hats, snare, and a clap from the Ableton Live 909. And then an Amen break. So this is what's coming outside of Rave Generator 3. And then anything green will be Rave Generator 3. So first up, let's add a kick. Let's put this on C3. And let's go to our user presets. We go down to Techno Kick. Chin Scratching Invasion. Let's have a listen to this one. I'm just going to solo Rave Generator 3. So all the other Amen Break and all that stuff, that's off for now. Pretty cool. Gabba, so I want something hard and distorted. I think we have it. There we go. Boom. Let's make this four bars. Let's add a bit of double on the last one, like so. Now we'll play this back with the break and the other percussion. Right, now let's add some leads. I've just dragged in a melody that I did offline to save time here. 
And let's go to our user presets, classic rave. Let's start at the start and solo. Let's listen to what we have. Yes, now we're starting to go right back to the 90s. Let's put the rest on. I don't know about you, but I'm grooving away in this chair right now. I like that one, so let's, I'm going to duplicate that. Awesome. Just dragged in some other MIDI that I did offline. I think that's working. Let's duplicate this one also. 
put him over there. See if we can also find another layer to go with that. Maybe something bell-like, I think. Let's see if we can find something bell-like. That sounds really nice. See if we can find one of the Hoover sounds now. So, classic rave, rave 90s maybe, Hoover. That's working. 
much fun and instant rave. Loving this thing. I think if you grew up in this area, you're going to absolutely love this thing. But even if you're not, even if you just want to experiment with some Gabba or some mid-90s rave sounds, I definitely recommend it. So thanks for watching, and we'll be back with something else shortly. See you then, bye.